you should have received this box right here. And we're going to unpack it to see what's inside. Taking off the lid. The box is composed of two main parts. The first part is this red tray that you should receive. This contains all of your parts that you're going to be using to build the robot. And we'll be going over that a bit later. The second part is where all of your big stuff is located. So inside, you should be able to find the brick, which is the main part of the robot, motors, sensors, and uh, a charging cable, charging cable for the robot, and cables to connect the robot to motors and sensors, as long as wheels. So everything you should be able to find is in this kit. There are small minor pieces that are used when building the robot and should be kept in mind when designing your robot. Now, the main pieces you're gonna be using to build the structure are frames and beams. As you can see, they're located right here, here, and here. Frames and beams are used to build the main structure of the robot and will be kept stationary during the execution of the robot. Now, frames and beams can be connected via using these black fins right here called pins. Now to connect the frame to a beam or a beam to a beam, like so, you just put it in one of these holes and of course you're able to put the beam in like so. The main way that we distinguish between types of beams is length. Uh, the way we uh, measure length with beams are through Lego units. Now one Lego unit is equal to the number of holes. For example, this measures 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this beam is 13 LEGO units in length. As opposed to straight beams, we also have angled ones. For example, we have right angled ones and these funny looking ones. These are used to build up different structures of the robots. Now if you notice, at the end of these, some of these beams, you have these little plus shapes. Those are used for axles, as you can see right here. Anything plus shaped, you can fit an axle into, like so. Axles are also very important in building the robot. Unlike frames and beams, which stay stationary throughout the execution of the robot, axles are usually meant to rotate which is why they're usually connected to things such as wheels. As you can see, it is for this reason also motors are shaped with the little cross because usually you'll want to put the axle into the motor as well. Now, when putting an axle onto these plus shaped things, to prevent them from sliding, we would use things such as brushes, which are located right here. These prevent the axle from sliding and from staying in place, which are very important in building the robot. Lastly, the other last main part we're gonna go over is gears, which are, can be found right here. Gears also attach to axles. However, they can be combined with other gears, such like this, and when rotated, rotates the other gears. Now, you can make a system of gears or a set of gears, which will transfer rotation throughout the robot. And of course, later as you'll go on, you'll learn the other, other uses of gears to do stuff like magnify rotations or do a bunch of other stuff. 